two. In 25 years of digital forensic investigations, my conclusions with the FBI. Zach, can you turn it down? The amount of technical ability and premeditation to form this fraud in the case against Mr. Ranieri, I've never seen anything like that. In my 20 years experience with the FBI, I have never seen data manipulation, evidence tampering, anything like this on this scale. When I first read the papers that Mr. Ranieri uh, presented on tampering, I was shocked. I've never seen an instance where the system threw away its credibility purely for the purpose of convicting a, a defendant. If it could happen to a person who is educated, who is white, who has the complexion for acceptance, as I would say, none of us are safe. There's no need to fabricate evidence for a guilty man. The fact that they fabricated evidence here, and to the degree that they did, shocks the conscience. If this alleged FBI malfeasance turns out to be true, as our experts say it is, then this is really historic. This is really an attempt to frame somebody based on manipulation of data. That's just unacceptable in an American court and in the American legal system. I'm the former United States Attorney for the Eastern District of Arkansas. In the face of this alarming evidence, there's really no excuse for the court or for the prosecutor to hide behind procedural delays and waiting to get to the bottom of this. They should take immediate action, and if they can't or they won't, the United States Attorney General should appoint an independent prosecutor. If an independent investigation determines that this tampering occurred, there must be accountability. People have to be criminally prosecuted. This is very serious. Okay. Shortly after Mr. Renner's legal team first exposed this corruption, the government retaliated. Yeah, I mean, what I, I know that you were playing the music, which was unfortunate and making the jokes. You know, these are people, whether or not, again, whether you hate Keith Ranieri mm -hmm. or whatever you think about Nexium, you know, these are very um, people that have served our country. Those are uh, four FBI agents, other uh, distinguished experts. There's also a former U.S. prosecutor. Um, you know, again, if you don't want to uh, hear that, <laughs> I and, do. I and do. Agree, I'm so, that's, you know that's what? Okay. I, I'm. Here's what I. I just want to. I'm going to give well, you. What the, I would say I, is here's if, what I want to do. If here's you what ever I want to do. Wait, I, I'm, I'm serious. Had, I want to give you the platform. I'm just going to step away because listen. Obviously, we've been doing some goofs here, and I feel I owe it to you. I'm going to step away. I'm. I'm going to sit right here and listen, but I'm not going to interrupt you. I'm just going to let you say your thing. I'm. I'm sorry. Go ahead. All I'll say is first, thank you again for uh, you know allowing me to come on. I didn't appreciate sort of the, the way it went, but even with that, what I'm talking about today and the video that you saw with these experts, these are serious, serious things that we're talking about. I think uh, I think that's uh, what's the wrong? What happened? Well, thank you. For that. Yeah. Do you want to give a closing statement or anything? No, I think that they're just putting things on the screen. Oh, it's just, no, that helps people's attention span because it's a little boring. So it's a little dense. So sometimes you put kinetic yeah. sand or subway surfer. It makes it easier to listen. Gotcha. Thank hey, you for having me Did you see this today, photo guys. of you guys, of the three amigos? <laughs> Did you? I'm with you, by the way. A cab, brother. <laughs> you don't. You don't know how to turn off Zoom. You're trying, but you can't get away. How do we? How do you get out of this? <laughs> You're trapped. Well, there's no trap. Well, again, nice to meet you, Ethan. And uh, yeah, I yeah, thanks for having me on. on I'm today. sorry. I'm sorry to put you all through that. It, ultimately, you are the victim, and I hope Rainier dies in prison. I really do. I really do. But one day you're going to be free of this and I'll be there to help you. I'm so sorry. You, this is Keith's fault that you went through this. It really is. And I'm so sorry. Yeah. I'm thanks, sorry. thanks for having me on today. Yeah. Thank you for joining us. All right. Take care. Have a, have a good night. Have a good night.
Thank you. Oh, God. He hung up. Yeah, I know. I actually feel bad for him at the end there. Yeah. But to I mean, be it's fair, extremely embarrassing. But to be f completely fair, this man walked into, like, a comet-sized chasm yeah. of a death trap. You can turn back on chat. All right, I'll turn it back on. Like, when I got this email from him that I read you guys, I was like, is this guy for real? And so I passed it to Dan to set it up, and sure enough, this guy thought I was an Andrew Tate defender who loves Keith Ramirez, and also he didn't know <laughs> I have Tourette's syndrome, which put me in kind of a unique position to talk to him about Tourette's. And that was a very stressful situation. I didn't see him ticking once. Just saying. Must be effective. I'm sorry. I, I honestly feel bad. I do feel bad. He, he, that man is crushed. But you know what? At the end of the day, definitely do a tiny bit of research for calling into one of the biggest podcasts in the world to do a live show yeah. about one of the most hated men in the world. Thanks for watching.